He is a man anointed of God to set the captives free. Introducing Pastor Dr. Jones Dadabwatang of Deliverance Outreach Ministries. A man called to the body of Christ and specially anointed to set the captives free. I've seen believers that have been born again for 20 years who don't have a child. Making deliverance simple and accessible to all with undeniable testimonies, signs, and wonders following. And now, at this hour of deliverance, let's receive this dynamic ministry of Reverend Dada Boateng of Deliverance Outreach Ministry. Somewhere to sit and to see God bless you. All the wonderful young girls, God bless you. Lady Fiska, God bless you. My brother Ike, God bless you. Hallelujah. I want to do it quick and go. Hallelujah. May God bless you, all young women. Amen. Say amen. Look at somebody and smile to the person. Tell the person you are very wonderful. Come on, tell the person. Tell the person. Tell the person you are very, very wonderful. You look very handsome. You look very beautiful. You look very sumptuous. You look very palatable. <laughs> palatable. May God bless you. Amen. This morning, I spoke to the morning service about, I just felt that I have to encourage them. And I want to continue. I want to talk to you about the part two. Tell somebody, don't give up on hope. Come on, come on. If you don't say it very well, I will make you to stand up and say it. Tell somebody, don't give up on hope. Don't give up on hope. See, if there is something about this generation, it's a generation of hopelessness. How man? I never know there are so many gay, lesbian people in, on this land until I moved to Chetam. When I'm going to my place because I, I always go in the night and when I'm going I'm driving I'll see men and men men and men men and men holding their hands eh? come 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 let me show you I see men and men eh, eh, holding their hand like this and one will do it and one is doing and what a hopeless generation people are, are, are drinking themselves into, into drinks, into alcohol, into witchcraft. Yesterday, went to Revelation TV. Came out from the Revelation TV, standing in front of the TV. Four men standing there smoking in their hand. Plain. It's like before, before, when I was in the village, when you see a woman smoking, not in their hand, smoking common cigarettes. It's a taboo. A woman smoking cigarettes is a taboo. But today, it's a common thing. So, if there is something this generation need, is something you need a word of hope. Please, I want you to hear me. What I'm going to tell you, you haven't heard it before. It's a new secret. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Now let's read where we started in the morning. Hallelujah. Don't give up on hope. Job chapter 14. Job chapter 14, the verse 7. seven. Look at this secret. For there is hope. For there tree. is hope of what? A tree. Mm. If it be cut down. Here it is. That you continue. In the spiritual realm, God words is God formula and method. Yes, sir. For helping his people. Please hear this very well. If you want to know how God works, locate his word. God does nothing outside his word. If you want marriage, locate his word. If you want prosperity, locate his word. If you want, if you want protection, locate his word. I, I, are you listening to me? Yes, Hear me very well. His word is his weights. His word is his messenger. One day I was having severe back pain. And I lied down on my bed. I couldn't walk. I said, God, my back, heal me, heal me, heal me. Ah, Sam. And I heard a voice. Why do you want me to heal you? I said, because I'm sick. God said, no, I'm not healing you because you are sick. The pain get more. I took paracetamol. After one hour, the pain increased. I was walking like this. Ah, ah if you haven't had that back pain, you think it's a joke. My, my walking stopped at once. Everything. Ah, nobody's there. My, I, I felt like somebody that you have had fever at once. Suddenly, my, my head began to pain me. I, I said, God, I'm going to church to preach. I can't call Pastor Richmond to tell Pastor Richmond that preach pre because yes, of sir. sickness. Ah. It's against <laughs> yes, my commitment. Yes, sir. For me to sit down at hope and say, I am sick? No. No. God, heal me. Why do you want me to heal you? I said, because your word said it. He said, how do you tell me my word is, my word said, the same quotation I'll be quoting from my head. I start reading the word. Because your word said it. Your word said by his life, I am healed. I read it like taking a tablet. Within that seconds, a cool something like water passed through my body. And before I know, I was jumping. I came and hit the devil so hard. Yes, sir. Yeah, I yeah. pray that by revelation, by revelation, through the word of God, yes, sir. anything damaged in your life anything is restored. Is restored. Is restored. Shout, I receive it. Thank you, Jesus. God does not go around. He sent his word around. You never see God walking. No, he sent his word. I read to you Friday that Psalm 138, if you read Psalm 138 verse 2, the Bible said God has lifted his words even above his names. Whatever Satan has damaged in your life, Jesus, may God wait, restore it. Amen. I pray for somebody here listening to me. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Whatever men cannot whatever, do, whatever, cannot whatever. Do. may God do it in Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. Anything men say it is yes, over. Yes, 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 May God start doing it for you, yeah. Jesus. Name. Hallelujah. See that place. See that place. Uh, uh, see, hear this. Never forget this. Never forget. I want to give you the word of wisdom. In the spiritual realm, every journey to restoration starts by revelation. Every journey. God cannot restore without revelation. That's why many people have prayed and prayed and prayed and they think maybe they have wear themselves down. God, there's no revelation behind why they are praying. I was talking, I was talking to my sister Marsh because if you watch the Facebook in the morning, that's the word, that's her, I said, Lady Marsh, fire. Lady Marsh, fire. I was talking to her just now. If you know revelation behind what we go to Israel and do. Yes, sir. It doesn't matter investment. You go there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are you listening to me? Because I understand what is in River Jordan. Mm. I understand Mount Tabor. Yes, sir. I understand Mount Camel. So I don't go there like other people just going there to pray. Mm. I see other people, they just come there, they take picture, pra, 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 and they go. It's like a tour for them, but yes, I don't go there like that. Yes, sir. I go there for empowerment. 
I go there for spiritual resources. Amen. Yes, I need something that yes, I'm going there. And I know that there's something in that Jordan. Yes, sir. How can a man dip himself seven times and leprosy disappear? Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. That means there's something there. There is something there. Why didn't Jesus go anywhere until he walked into Mount Tabor? Hey, have you been there before? Mm, you yes, see sir. how high Hi. that Tabor is? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And Jesus walked over there to just go and transfigure. Yeah. There's something that we don't know. Why yes, did sir. people go to Atria Mountain? Why couldn't they stay house and pray? Do you know Atria before? Atria was the altar of Asante. Uh, in Suta Hime, Atriabo. It is his power. They won't go to war except they go there for empowerment. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. <laughs> There's something we call revelation, and in the journey of restoration, you must have what? Revelation. revelation. What is revealed to you is what is restored to you. Until certain things is revealed to you, you don't have restoration behind it. No. Job chapter 14, look at verse 7. Please read it very well. Like For there is hope is, of a tree. For there is hope of a tree. If it be cut down. When it is cut down. That it will sprout again. Now hear this, hear this. When a tree is cut down. In the spiritual, a tree represents human life. And when this is a tree, when you cut this, and this one fell here. Because there's no resources coming from here. The one that is failure don't have hope. Yes, sir. Within three days, it will die. The stump is there. The root is there. So this one can germinate again. But this one here has become useless. Now, tree represents a foundation. Yes, sir. That's why they call the root. Your foundation, your root. Yes, sir. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. Now, so, so, come. 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 This is my great-grandfather, uh, come, Pastor Fred. This is my father. Are you listening to me? Normally, they don't cut this one because they have damaged this one already. So they cut the stem. Are you listening to me? So this one who went to witch doctor and polluted the tree will enjoy what he polluted and go. But the moment this one is cut, this one is the stem. This one is the branches. The fruit begin to suffer. Mm. Because the fruit don't have hope when the tree is, is cut there. down. Yes, sir. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. The fruit is damaged. Have you seen a tree, a mango tree before? Yes, sir. When the mango tree is cut yeah. down, if you see, it's coming to winter very soon, the autumn, you see them cutting the trees. Yes, then when they cut the trees, you see the one that is standing there germinate again. But the one that they have cut is useless. Yes, but the Bible said, even when the tree is cut down, if a little scent of water, hey. water speak of the word of God, yes, sir. based on the hope the based tree carried, the hope, it hope. will germinate again. Yes, sir. I pray that you will not die. Amen. 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 It doesn't matter where they have caught you to. It doesn't matter the hopelessness. You are coming up again. You are coming up again. Shout, I am coming up. I pray for somebody. In the name of Jesus. You may have been cut down. Uh, All you need is a little uh, word of yes, hope. Sir. You are coming up. Amen. Your Amen. marriage is coming up. Amen. Your life is coming up. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Sit down, please. Yes, sir. Your friend, Pastor, said in Italy, they are in a place called Modena now, as I'm talking now. Why? A woman that has married, no hope. For how many years now? 12 years, no baby. I was there last year and I was teaching and I was teaching and one afternoon I started talking about dreams and suddenly I released a word of knowledge. God, give me a word of knowledge. Somebody you are here, your mother gave birth to you and carried your placenta into a witch doctor's shrine and they buried it in the forest. Ah! The pastor herself said, Daddy, I want to talk with you. After we went to the office, he said, because of the people, I didn't talk, but it is me. When my mother gave birth to me, the placenta was wrapped all my body. They called the witch doctor, they removed the placenta. They went to forest with the witch doctor. 
They divided into two. They bury one in the forest. They bury one in the witch doctor shrine. Wow. So every time I dream, I'll see myself in that place looking for something. Something. I asked the woman, go and buy seven small bottles of oil. Yes, sir. She went and bought the biggest one. Ah, that woman is serious. I said, no, no, I want this. He said, Papa, if you know, ah, <laughs> I've married 12 years. What is wrong with me? Sam, we pray prophetic action. That very man, she took a seed. She took a seed. Today, Pastor Fred is there. They are doing the naming ceremony. Yes, sir. I was supposed sure. to be there. Yes, sir. He's there yes, sir. in Modna. The woman has given up. Amen. When I was there, she, she was not talking about the baby again because the woman has crossed. Yes. The husband has crossed. Yes. They, don't, they didn't have no hope. But after we finish, they remain little oil. I say, anoint you. In front of me, the woman removed her brows. I said, no, 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 no. I said, Pastor, he said, me, Papa, no. he said, you are my father. Stop that nonsense. I go to hospital and doctors uh, free me. I say, and they, <laughs> <laughs> doctor, for open, examine. They, no, 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 no. I examine the doctor's examine. <laughs> so, you are my father. Touch my womb for me. I took the oil and I slapped the womb three times. I said, go and have your baby. Her hope came out. Yes, sir. And that very night, he received the baby. Today, they are dedicating the baby. Amen. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus. Receive hope. I receive it. If you can revive your hope, yes, sir. you can restore your destiny. Amen. I revive your hope. Revive. Don't kill your hope. No. Don't kill your hope. Amen. Don't kill your hope. Amen. You will not die. No. Your life will not yes, die. Sir. Your mind will not, will die. not die. May heaven bless you. Amen. Shout, there is hope. There is hope. That woman has given up. Let me do my church and go. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Ah, help me tell somebody, don't lose your hope. Don't lose your hope. Read it again, Pastor Divine. Read it again. Job 14, 14 verse 7. 7. Yes. But there's hope of a tree. For the, aye, that's the good news. Ah, that's the good news. Yes, sir. When you come to your end, that's where God begins for you. Mm-hmm. Any time you come to your end, God begins. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Whenever you think it is over, God starts. Whenever you think it is over, God take over. I, 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 are you yes, hearing sir. what yes, I'm saying? Sir. I say, any time. That's how hope comes from. Hope comes from the word of God, revelation. Any time you think life is over, over. God take over. Mm-hmm. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. I say, any time you fail, your life is over. Give it to God. Give it to God. That cancer will not kill you. Amen. Amen. I pray for somebody. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Your life will not die. Amen. Will not die. Sit down, please. Let's go. Hallelujah. Amen. Any time you think everything has end, God begins. Never forget it. Yes, sir. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. When you are down to nothing, know that God is up for something. Yes, sir. Never, never forget it. Anytime you are down to nothing, know that God is up for something. Hallelujah. Every time I read this quotation, it gave me hope. And Ruth, and Ruth lost the husband. And the Ruth also friend lost the husband. And Ruth lost the father-in-law. All the three men gone. And the mother-in-law said, look at my age. And Ruth didn't have no child, has married. No, the Bible was silent. They didn't tell us how many years. So everything about that life of that woman was gone. But the woman carried her hope. Yes, sir. And before they know, if you read, read, if you read genealogy of Jesus, Ruth's name is there. Yes. How did this woman get there? Because she has hope. I pray that you will never be hopeless. Amen. Amen. I pray that heaven will rain blessing heaven to you. Amen. Blessing. I pray that as I'm talking now, yes, sir. God will restore your hope. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, hallelujah. Amen. In the journey of life, the number one thing revelation restores is a man's hope. If you have revelation through the word of God, that's why I read it again. You said, and there is hope. For there is hope of for a tree. Hope for a tree. If it be cut down. When the tree is cut down, that the tree is... I said, see, the, the Bible says, when the tree is cut, cut down. down. Not the tree that is there. No. 
the stem there, it have hope because it's still inside the soil. Yes, sir. But the one that is cut down, when the tree is cut down, it is hopeless. It will not germinate again. And your mother is still the foundation. Your grandfather is still the foundation. But it, see, they don't cut, they don't root it out. The root is fine. But the one that is cut down is the stem. Yes, sir. The one that is cut down is the branches. Yes, sir. The one that is cut down is the fruit. And that's why most of us, we are. They cut us down. They cut us while we are in the womb. Because mommy was looking for the fruit of the womb. Didn't care about us. They didn't know Jesus. They were looking for solution. The father was looking for empowerment. So she didn't care about you. I met, I was in Nigeria, Benin, and I met a man who was looking for empowerment to win election. How did they go the election? They took a three-day-old baby. They put the baby on the mortar, and they pound the baby. And the baby became like a meatball. Now, the tree has cut down. The man became governor for eight years. But from that time up to now, all the children, when they are pregnant, three months miscarriage, when they gave birth, three days, the baby died. The innocent children who don't know what the father did are suffering. Nobody tell me it was the man that tell me. Yes, the man, as Antipat, the man was sitting in yes. front of my hotel room talking to me. Are, are you listening to me? Yes, sir. The tree that was cut down is gone. I pray for somebody. In the name of, the name Jesus. of Jesus. There's hope for you. There, there is, is hope. hope for me. Psalm 31. Mm. Bible said, God will never allow you to be in disgrace. Yes, sir. Jeremiah chapter 31 verse 16. Yes, sir. The word of God said, your children are coming back to your border. Yes. Verse 17 said, for there's hope, hope for your future. Yes, for there's hope for your future. Yes, for there's hope for your children. Yes, your children are coming oh, back. Amen. I declare hope for you. I, receive it. I declare you will not die. Amen. I declare you will not die. Amen. What people think it is impossible. Jesus. God will bring it to fruitfulness. Amen. Shout, I receive it. I receive it. Sit down, please. Let's go. Hallelujah. Hope. Hope is the number one thing that you need. Whoever steals your hope steals your destiny. Mm. The major change the devil is using in our days is hopelessness. He makes people to think that they are hopeless. That's why it, in our generation now the number one concern of the government is depression. One day there is a, a woman that was in our church. They call her Antino. I don't know when, if you know Antino. She was going for Ghana. She was going to Ghana for good. And I was going to pray for her before she goes. In Tottenham, a white alley, there's a cemetery there. A young boy of 19 years has committed suicide. I was reading the Facebook the day before yesterday. A young musician in Nigeria performed Sunday on Tuesday, committed suicide and died. Because of, did you see it on the Facebook? Are you listening to me? Renowned musician committed suicide and died. What happened? I was showing to Auntie Evelyn yesterday. What happened? They said he was depressed. He was performing for others, but nobody was hearing his story. And after performing, jumping, everybody was jumping and happy and went home and committed suicide and died. Hopelessness. Anybody that steal your hope <laughs> make you hopeless. Many have settled down and declared their case is hopeless. I'm here to pray for you. In the name Amen. of Jesus. That whatever has depressed you, whatever. make you hopeless. Ah. Jesus. Today, I enforce your hope Amen. in Jesus. Amen. Name. Hope. What is hope? hope? Let me give you the meaning of hope and I'm going to leave you. What is hope? Hope is the anchor of the soul. Hope is the anchor of your soul. You may have lost everything, but don't lose your hope. Because the moment you lose your hope, you are hopeless. If I tell you you are hopeless, I'm not abusing you. Hopeless means you are you less hope. You are not full in hope. You less hope. That's why we call it what? Hopeless. hopeless. It's two words. But when I say, when your father says you are hopeless, you, are, you start crying. Me, Papa, did my father has abused me. It's not an abuse. It's two words. 
hopeless. That means you less hope. You must be full of hope. It's not abuse. Is it abuse? Because we don't understand it. That's why my papa says me hopeless. My father says I'm hopeless. It's a good encouragement. If you tell me I'm hopeless, I'm going to seek. And, <laughs> and make sure I'm what? Hopeful. It yes, encouraged me. Yes, it excites me. Yes, sir. When this man said, I can never do anything, I work so hard. Yes. Me, I am a determined person. Mm. I don't give up easily. No. Yes, sir. No, 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 no. Before you know, I'm carrying more things. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Hi. We went to Revelation TV. We did recordings. We did live. And then we come there. I sit down there and write all the whole night. Writing and writing and writing and writing. By the time I know it's about 2 o'clock. I sleep a little bit. One hour. I wake up morning devotion for two and a half hours. After people call me, I pray for them. I pray for them. I pray for them. I just rest for one hour. I'm coming here the whole day. By the time I get to Chatham again, is what time? 10 o'clock. And tomorrow I'm coming here to do another two hours recording before I do the, 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 the radio. And uh, are you listening to me? If we are not hopeful, you can't do what we are doing. No, you can't. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus. Stand up and stretch your hand. Anything that has caged your hope, to ah, have your hope, hey, terminate your hope, Jesus. they are to end your life. Ah, I restore your hope. 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 In the name of Jesus. Don't give up on hope. No. Sit down, please. Sit down, please. Anytime you are hopeless, you are helpless. Any time. Do you hear what I said? Anytime you are hopeless, you are helpless. A hopeless person cannot be helped. Oh, daddy. Oh, daddy. Said, what do you want me to do for you? No, no, no. You can't do anything. You don't know what I'm going through. What do you want me to do for you? No, daddy. You don't know what I'm going through. I, you, can, you can't even do it. You are helpless. And Corey, the Bible said, and David and see 600 men. Hear this, hear this. Hear this. From the beginning, when you hear bad news, it's okay for your hope to get down. But that's why you need. The Bible said, when a tree is cut down, the only thing he needs is a scent of water. What is the scent of water? The word of God. And David encouraged himself. First Samuel chapter 30, verse 1 going. When David came to Zechariah, they have taken his two wives, mm. they have taken his children, everything, all of them. And 600 men said that and cry until they have no voice to cry again. Mm. But the Bible said, and David encouraged himself in the Lord. If you don't have hope, you, don't, you cannot encourage no. yourself. Yes, Anything yes. someone will tell you is useless. Ah. Hopeless people are helpless people. They don't want to dress up. They don't want to do that. They don't want to make, do their makeups. They don't want to bath. They can sit there. Women, some of them can sit there for three days, one week without bathing. They say they are depressed. I've seen them. One of our nursing staff, when I was a nurse, their daughter can sit in the toilet for six hours because she says she's depressed. Because she's hopeless. Come on, rise up and do something in your spirit. Yes, sir. Don't sit down in depressed. Right, There's too much inside yes, you. Yes, sir. The glory is inside yes, you. Yes, sir. The power inside yes, you. Yes, sir. Stay your spirit. Amen. Stay, Stay spirit. yourself. Yes, sir. Ah, in Romans, the Bible says, against hope, he believes in hope. Romans chapter 4, look at verse 18. Against hope. Against hope. See, everything around her said there's no hope. Did you hear that? Who against hope, hope. believe in hope? hope. Everything was against her. The woman following her is against her. The condition of that woman is against her. How can a woman of 90 years believe for a child? Abraham did not go to verse 17. Look at the quote. He said, He did As not. As it is written, yes. I have made thee a father of many nations. Yes. Before him whom yes. he believed. Yes. Even God, yes. who quickened the dead. Yes. And colored those things which be not. Yes. As though they were. Keep going. Who against hope. Abakate. He lived in hope. Yes. That he might become the father of many nations. Yes. According to that which yes. was spoken, <laughs> so shall thy seed be. God has called him that I will give you a seed. Yes, sir. The seed from this woman will be the father of yes, the nation. 
The seed is a promise. Hmm. But this man is 90 years. Even if this 90 year old woman get pregnant, have you seen 90 year old women before? They hold the Zimmer frame, they walk like that. Have you seen a woman pregnant before? If you haven't seen it, look at some George wife. Mm. <laughs> Are you listening to me? How? It is, she's not in nine months yet. Too. She's not in nine months yet. She's in, I think, eight or seven months. And look at how heavy it is. Now, if this woman is 90 years, can she walk? That time, there was no surgical knife to cut it and remove the baby. No. And this woman has to push. Yes, sir. Have you been to a mental, ment, uh, me, me, maternity ward before? Yes, sir. How women are pushing? Mm. Have, have you been there before? <laughs> Everybody say, push, 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 push. Are you listening to me? And the, the, the pain and the strength you gather. <laughs> Because I work as a nurse, sometimes yes, I go there to do agency. They don't care who is with them. No. Whether the doctor, whether whoever you are there, they don't care. Mm. Once upon a time, for one week, the baby was coming, the baby won't come. Mm. Pastor Gladys has to call me to go and pray for this lady. And the doctors don't want to cut it because they have caught this woman for about, about, about four times. And already, so they don't want to do that again. They think that the woman has to give birth. And, and the pain, the woman was screaming, and the baby heart was going down. And they said if they caught it, they may it, it will damage or it will damage the woman or so many things. And 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 and, 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 and every hope is gone. Mm. They say the baby, even the woman, is not kicking again. So if they if they caught it, the woman and the baby may die. So if the baby died, they induce the woman to bring the dead baby. It will save the baby. And that's why Pastor Glass called me. I was in in Highbury. So I drove all the way, went there, and I... The, baby, the woman was naked. All the women over there. This one. I said, Jesus, I closed my eyes before I was going. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? And picture Mama Sarah in that condition. Mm. Mm. 90 year old woman. Pregnant for not next six months, nine months. And deliver a natural delivery. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because a man who now, now read, read, read it. You see, you see something there. Look at verse 19. Verse 19. At, yes, yes. And yes, be yes. not weak in faith. Be not weak in faith. He considered not his own body now dead. It is hope that makes you not to consider your pocket. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is hope that don't want you to consider what the immigration people are saying. They put deportation on it, you hope. No, the God that take me from the village. The God that brought me here ah. will never disappoint me. Yes, that is not faith. It is hope, hope that fertilizes faith. Yes, yes, sir. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. The God that gave me husband can give me baby. It doesn't matter my age. My matter. time is coming. Listen to me. Listen. It doesn't start. Though. This is tears and sweat. You may have made mistake before because your hope was gone. That's why. Mama Sarah took her maid and gave it to the husband. But when she had the scent of water, which is the word of God, he hold on. My yes, husband, sir. God said, we'll have a baby and let's have it. He said, Abraham didn't look at his body that was dead. When a man wants to have a baby, they say the body is dead. Uh -huh. They are not talking about the hand. I saw that Australian man, is it Australian or American, who don't have a leg, they put him on the table for him to preach. Yes, sir. Marry with, to a beautiful woman. Yes, sir. And now they have two children. Yes, sir. So when a man wants to have a baby, the man don't have a leg. It doesn't stop. No. So when the Bible said, Abraham did not look at his body that was dead, that means his man would have stopped performing. Yes, sir. No erection for the past 20 years. Ah. 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 <laughs> now you read it, you see that. You yes, sir. You, you, you have verse 19 there. Verse 19. Yes. And being not weak in faith, yes. he considered not his own body now dead. Did he hear that? He did not. Go. Can you go to the Message Bible? Maybe the Message Bible will simplify it. <laughs> no, no, Message Bible will simplify it. Abraham did didn't focus on his, on own, his own impotence. impotence. Now you understand it very well. <laughs> <laughs> Abraham did not consider on his own impotence, say, it is hopeless. This hundred year yeah, old body, body could never, never father, father a child, child nor did, did he survey Sarah's decades of infertility. Did you hear that? 
keep going. Look at look at the next one. Look at it. Stay on the message Bible. He, he didn't tiptoe <laughs> around God's promises. <laughs> asking cautiously, <laughs> skeptical <laughs> questions. <laughs> he plunged into the promise <laughs> and <laughs> came up strong. Somebody by God. the word of God, <laughs> yes, sir. your story is changing. <laughs> Your story is changing. changing. That hopeless situation. Aye. I command you to be hopeful. hopeful. Receive, it. I receive it. Shall I receive it? I receive it. Come on, rise up in hope. Yes, sir. There's hope for you. There is hope. Don't kill yourself. There is hope. Don't kill your there children. Don't kill your business. Don't kill your there health. Don't kill your there life. Hope. There's hope there for you. Hope. Your time is there now. Is you are not dead. No. You are not dead. No. If a dead man lies us can come ah. four days hey. rotting yes, by the word of God. Word of God, God, God said, lies us come, come forth. forth. A dead man hey. four days was forth. able to come out. I forth. am not dead. Yes, that means there's hope for me. That means there's hope for me. The tree is cut down. There's no hope for the tree. The, it, it, it is disconnected yes, from the source. Yes, There's no hope for it. Ah. But Bible said, even a tree, hey. how much more human being? Ah. I pray for I you. Receive, receive hope. Receive Don't give up on hope. No. You are not dead. No. You will not die. No. You are not dead. Yes, you will not die. Yes, Shout, I am hopeful. I am hopeful. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Anytime you are hopeless, hey. you are helpless. Ah. Ah. Sit down, please. Let's yes, go. Sir. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank, thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Hope is the anchor of the soul. You may have lost everything, but long lost your hope. Anytime you are hopeless, you are helpless. Anytime you are hopeless, you are useless. When I tell you, when I say useless, I'm not cursing you, I'm not abusing you. It means how you are useful, you have less it because your hope is gone. That's why I call it useless. <laughs> it's not abusive. A man listened to me, and the man who sent me a, a message, and I went there to dedicate her baby in America last year. I brought the book here, the modern day Abraham. You remember last year, because of that man, I stay for extra week to do the church. He has married 23 years, no baby. And I was preaching in their church. The final day I was preaching, it was, he was a former member of Pastor Evans, Dr. Ade, father. And I was preaching. And he stayed. Sundays I don't do the run, so I preach. I stayed them, I stayed them. Can something search? He said, the wife said he don't want to sleep with him again. Because that you have wasted your time on me for 23 years. He knows. Wasted. This is the 24th year. Go and find a young girl. You are still young. You, you marry when we marry. I was 23. You were 25. Now you are almost to 50. 48 years. You can get a young girl. Marry and have children. I don't want to waste your time. Me, you are not going to sleep with me again. And when I was preaching, I said something through the word of knowledge that somebody you are here because of hopeless mind that you have, you don't even go to your husband or your wife. Hey! At first, they thought that somebody had told Pastor Boat, but this condition, me and my husband alone, we are sleeping. Hey, yes, sir. If Lady Fiscal did not tell me that he gave the husband one, Who I wouldn't know? have known. Who didn't, Who didn't know? I wouldn't know. Who didn't know? It was the wife that came and told me that yes, this sir. morning. I gave him one. Took one. <laughs> oh no, didn't you tell me? Didn't you tell me? Oh. She tell me. <laughs> she tell me. No, didn't you tell me? I found some funny chicken. Come. You won't know. Nothing shows that this woman was not sleeping for the past three years. Ah. Because hope is gone. They pray. They pray. They do everything. They come to church. They were, that time they were not pastors. They were leaders. Mm. Are you listening to me? When we finished, they came to my room on my hotel room. That's how they left the church. Because when they came to my room, the pastor saw, one of the guys said that, saw that they have come to me and those church, those church, they were so conservative that they don't want nobody to come to the pastor. And they came, they bought me a suit. 
and a shirt, and they brought it to my hotel. When I was searching, I saw the suit. I, haven't, I don't even know the suit people are. Uh, oh, this suit, I just saw it. Uh, you remember, I just saw it. I said, I'm going to wear it. They have seen they have, how they do it. They have buttons everywhere. I haven't seen it. People buy it for me. I don't even see it. They put it up, put it up, put it up, put it up. So many. So many. And, and they came there. I tell the husband to talk to the womb. And I pray. And I say, God said, your baby is released. Go and perform. I finish my part. If you have one, you have one baby. If you have two, you have two baby. If you can do three, you have three baby. If you can do four, you have four baby. If you can do five, you have five baby. If you can do six, you have six babies. Seven babies. As long as you can do it, that is your baby. They thought I was joking. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. The man when the man's strength was one. Oh. <laughs> he said, even that one that I forced, it was a rape. Hey, My yeah. wife said, he said, the wife said, no. Mm. For two years, you haven't done it. Daddy, I said, go and find another place. So it was, no, Apostle John said, we should do it. Yes, so sir. it was, because he didn't cry. Do I know? I just said. There was no enjoyment. But all they need is that let the water enter there. Yes, sir. It was and well. pam. The woman took the seed. He said, Apostle, if I knew it, I would have forced to. Uh -huh. I got there and I dedicate the baby. I have the pictures. It was last year. They have written a book, The Modern Day Abraham. I dedicate it. I don't know why you have lost hope. I don't you know? I'm praying for something. In the name of Jesus. Put your hand on your chest. Yes, sir. If a man died for four days, ah. and the man can rise up Jesus. by Jesus, wait, yes, sir. are you dead? No. No. Why are you condemning yourself? I infuse I receive it. hope into your life. Amen. I release I receive hope it. into your life. Amen. I restore I hope into your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. See that, please. Let me tell you something. In the book of 1 Corinthians 13 13, hope is a spirit like faith. It's a major spirit, not a minor spirit. He said, There are three things that is important. The most important thing is the love. The love. But the two is more important. Mm. And, and now, now abide, abide faith, faith, faith hope, hope, and charity. Charity means this three, love. But this the greatest three, of these is three, charity. The greatest of all is what? Love. Love. That means, here it is. Hope is a spirit. Yes, sir. It's a virtue. Yes, sir. Let it enter you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Say, I need it. I need it. Don't kill your hope. If you kill your hope, you kill your destiny. In Psalm 42, look at this one. Are you listening to me? This is very, very important. No matter what you may have lost, don't lose your hope. Don't give up on hope. Because when men say it is over, God take over. When men say it is over, God take over. Proverbs chapter, where did I ask you to read? Psalm 42. No, I didn't say Psalm 42. I said Proverbs 14, 32. <laughs> Proverbs chapter 14, verse 32. Yes. The wicked is driven away mm -hmm. in his wickedness, mm -hmm. but the righteous had mm -hmm. hope in his death. Did you hear that? The wicked is driven away by his wickedness, in his wickedness, but the righteous have hope in his death. Even they say you are dead because you have hope, you will come up. They say you are finished. Ah. The young man died. I show you in where they put church. They said he's dead. They carry him. They put him in mortuary. They put him. The next day, the brother went to the mortuary. Somebody that has been in mortuary, fridge. Even yes. if you are not dead, you, they keep you and lock you for you 24 die. hours. You, you die. die. Eh? The brother came there after three days and said, please, I want to see my brother. They burned it from head to toe. Did you see it? He said, my brother, our bishop said, this year, nobody died. Stand up, let's go. You are sleeping off. The boy got up. Every nurse was run away. <laughs> and the man carried his brother. 
And all the hospital became born again at once. Yes, sir. And brought the boy into the altar of where they put in Winners Chapel. And everybody saw it. This is not, not a comedy. Even if you are not there, they keep you in freezer for three days. You die. What made the boy to do that? He have hope that even when a tree is dead, scent of water, it can come up. Now go to the Psalm 42 I asked you to read. Do you have Psalm 42 there? Look yes, at verse sir. 5. Psalm 42 verse 5. Psalm 42, the verse number 5. Yes. Why art thou cast down? Why are you cast down? Oh, my soul. Ah, and why it. art thou disquieted in me? Did you hear that? Hope thou in God. Hope thou in God. Hope for I shall yet praise him. Ah, Why are you cast down? Mekra. Why are you disquieted? Why? Kilo day. The Yoruba people say kilo day. Why are you quiet? Look at the verse 11. Hear this, hear this. No matter what you may have lost, mm. don't lose your hope. Don't lose hope. Because hope is the channel where faith works. Faith is the power that brings things to pass. Yes, sir. Faith is the substance of things not seen. The evidence of things that you have not seen. But it is fertilized. It is anchored. It is empowered yes, by your hope. Yes, a hopeless person is a faithless person. Yes, sir. When somebody is believing for a child and you don't have hope that you have a child, you talk, oh, Papa, I have faith. What faith are you having? Ah. You want to have babies, you are not sleeping with your husband. Ah. Then you are having faith. <laughs> what is that faith? Look at verse 11. Do you have verse 11 there? Verse 11. Yes. Why are thou cast down? Oh why my soul? are you cast down, oh my soul? And why are thou disquieted? Why within are me? you so cold in me? Hope, Hope in, in the Lord. For I shall yet I praise him. God. Who is the health, health of my, my countenance God. and my God? Look at Psalm 43, verse 5. What you see, see time you see the Bible repeating things regular like yes, that, sir. know that there's something the, the word wants to tell yes, us. Yes, sir. Why are thou cast down? Why oh are soul? you cast down, oh my soul? And why are thou disquieted within me? Ah, hope in God. Hope in the well, Lord. I shall yet pray. Somebody him. receive it in I Jesus' name. It. It. Hope is the anticipation of good things to come. Hope is the anticipation. You anticipate that it's coming. You anticipate that it's coming. Hope is what graduates and fertilizes to become fit, then you 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 infuse fasting and praying to it. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. You three days you, every man take three days infuse it. Mm. Friday is a driven day. As you are coming, infuse it. Yes, sir. I hope God will give me the best. I hope my children will have the best husband. I hope. I hope. I hope. Ah, every day, Gifty was born Wednesday. I infuse fasting and praying. Mikey was born Sunday. I infuse fasting and praying. I put all. I have. You see, many people don't have. In your school, don't they have program? Do. Why people sit down? They don't have no program in life. Mm. That's why when they are doing fasting, it's too long for them. Because they, they don't program. I was teaching them. As I'm going to Israel, I've written my program. Yes, I've given one to Mami Ahito to type it for me. Are, are you listening to me? Yes, sir. I know what I'm going to do in the first day. I know what I'm going to do in River Jordan. I know the faith I'm carrying. I know everything. I put quotation behind it. Yes, so when I'm doing fast, sometimes I'll come here, they'll force me to eat. You haven't eaten. I forget that I haven't eaten. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. It is not part, food is not part of my life. You come to the house, you see food there. Even if you put it there, it's spoil. I even forget that. Sometimes I don't even open the fridge ah, for sometimes. All the turkey they brought me for me. The six years turkey, it was there. Nice. And the six years turkey, it was there. You, you understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Please, hope. Ah. Ah. Yes, sir. Ah. Program your life. Yes, sir. Okay. Your firstborn is what? Kujo. Kujo is born Monday. My wife, let's take two hours fasting. Let's, in the morning, 
let's eliminate a uh, full day and let us fast for Kudu two hours. By 12, let us eat. You are in your work. You go and hide in a toilet and you call Francisca. Put your hand on your womb. Let me pray as a father in the house. In the name of Jesus, the day, Monday, in Ghana, they call it for Joe. It's an evil day. In the power that attacks sons in the family, we break it. By that Monday, your husband may do something against you. You are not even talking to your husband. So when he calls you, oh, Bompaye, if you want to pray, go and pray to your church. You can't be a pastor here with me. And you don't know that by, by you too fast fighting, the enemy is also fasting mm. behind you. Do you think only born again people fast? Yeah. You are fighting, the enemy is also fasting. fasting behind the scene against your son. Yeah. And tomorrow when your sons are not doing well, you started blaming them. You didn't know, you didn't know that the mother and the father didn't do work very well. Mm. Are you listening to me? Yes, yes sir. sir. I ask Gifty, write all your itinerary for me. Let me put it on my altar and pray for you. He write it very well. 26 years, I want to marry. 27, I want to start having my baby. This and this and this. I say, thank you. I put one under the altar. I put one on my prayer. I put one in my Bible. Every day, I pray on it. I lay my hands. I lay my hands. I lay my God have time and season. Yes, yes sir. sir. You look at the second born. What day did I have him? Hey. You, Sunday, let my husband, we are not going to eat breakfast. Let the children eat breakfast until first service. We are working on the first, second born. God, order her step. God, order her into good marriage. God, order her into destiny. Man, no, let, 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 no, let no, no stupid man to come to my daughter. In a stupid man coming to my daughter, I fire that stupid person. By the time you know, God, order the start. The start. Before you know, a millionaire footballer has come to that girl who is good. Before you know, uh, 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 daddy, this, 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 my, 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 my husband said, I'm bringing you this car. You see that I'm a contact, Fred, the hair is all white. <laughs> are, are you listening to me? Yes, sir. Please, take this thing. Don't, you see, people, why you are telling your children they are stupid is that you don't have hope in them. Hopeless children are always being insulted by their fathers. Yes, oh, they are hopeless. Look at you. Look at you. When I was in secondary school, I was top of the class. Look at you. Common mathematics, you can't do it. Are you listening to me? When you say that to the child, the confidence is gone. It has built a stronghold in the mind that daddy said, I'm not good. Daddy said, I'm not good. So they begin to take another friend that will encourage them. Yes, sir. That's why Dinah in the Bible went and slept because the, 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 the Bible said Jacob hate the mother. Leah was hated. And Rachel was the one that he loved. So that young girl has never heard the father tell the mother, I love you. So when she grew and went out and somebody said, ah, you are beautiful. I love you. I haven't seen a woman beautiful like this. It was a new thing. And she fell for the boy. That's why Jacob didn't blame the man, uh, Shechem, when she slept with that girl. Jacob never blamed. Because Jacob saw that she has done something wrong. Mm. And that's why she cursed them. Simon and Levi, she cursed them. Please, have hope in your children. Yes, sir. It is not everybody that's supposed to be a doctor. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If everybody is a lawyer, we won't have Ronaldo and Messi. No. Mm. Go to the school. Those people are very good in athletics and those people, they don't do very well in academics. Mm. Everybody has his lane. Yes, sir. If, we, if everybody is a medical doctor, who, who will be doing the Facebook for us? Yes. And look at Kofi Computer. He knows how to play drums. He knows how to play everything. He knows how to do everything. So Kofi knows how to do everything. So everybody have diversity. Yes. Tell your children, let them be good in what they are. And by the time you know, you don't have no trouble. There was a footballer in Nigeria. He died. He's dead. He's dead. He used to play for a team in Nigeria. They call it Bender Insurance. Do you know that team? Do you know that team called Bender Insurance? That guy's name is Henry Wusu. Henry Wusu. Very, very good footballer. In fact, he played for Green Eagles very short time. And the father was angry because the father was a big man in society. He used to play with Stephen Keshi then. 
He played for number 10. Very good footballer. The father thought that I don't want to, I don't, blah, 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 blah. I want you to go, I want you to become a medical doctor. The guy went to university. The day the father was proud, sitting there, they called Henry Musu. He came and collects the, the certificate. And when, in front of all the people, he went and gave it to the father. I was forced by you. My, my main destiny is to play football. That's why I succeeded in playing for Nigerian clinicals. But today, because of you, I can't play game. So I went to the school for you. Go and practice the doctor. And whether the boy killed himself or not, nobody knew. And the boy died premature. Because somebody sat in his glory. Father and mother, be careful. How you sat on your children's glory. Because I'm a mathematician, I have to force my children to be a mathematician. It doesn't work that way. Look at them. What are they very good at? I asked my children. Yesterday, a day before yesterday, I was talking to Joseph for one of the days. What do you want to be? The course you are doing, what are you going to be? What are you good at? Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. But you see, Father, no, no, no. You, um, you must become a medical doctor. No, no, no. And this person don't know anything about it. Uh -huh. He wants to be a literature. <laughs> eh? <laughs> but the Father said you become a lawyer by force. By force. And by the time you know, the girl is frustrated. Before you know, the girl is sleeping with men. Before you know, the girl is pregnant. Because you did not allow the girl into the course that she's very good. Leave them alone. Continue to pray for them. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bible said the heart of a man is in the hand of the Lord, not in the hands of the Father. No. Amen. Many life has disappeared because the Father sat on them. Yes, I say you, no, 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 my son, no, no, you, you, no. I will take you to London. You will go to university. You will become an elementary engineer. Why the man don't even know a cabrito? <laughs> you see, this boy is very good in athletic. Feed him there. Feed him there. Zachary Aziz was from the northern part of Ghana. But do you know, because of running, he traveled all over the world. He didn't travel the, all over the world because of academics. Why somebody is a graduate, has become a medical doctor, but he's still in, a uh, 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 friend saying, Cape Coast University, and he's doing a teacher in, in Ochiberia Elementary School. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hear this. What is hope? What is hope? It is hope that leads people into greatness. Anytime you see a hopeless person, they are a depressed people. Hopelessness leads to depression. It, that's why anytime Jesus met a, somebody he wants to heal, he said, cheer up. Ah, when they tell Jairus that your son is dead, or your daughter is dead, he look at them, he said, hey, don't listen to them. Follow me, let's go. Mary and Martha, he said, cheer up. Take me to the place. Ah, man, he smelled, he said, stop that. Didn't I tell you, if you believe, you'll see the glory of God. Cheer up, let's go. Always oh, Jesus instilled something in them before he prayed for them. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Any time, in Joel chapter 2, if you read verse 12, he said, because joy is not in the sons of men, the tree is dried up. Why dry your tree is that you are depressed? Do you have Joel there? Yes, sir. Joel chapter 2. two. Look at verse 12. Hallelujah. Amen. Hope is the expectation of what is yet to come. And it is sure to come. Hope is the expectation of what is yet to come. You have not seen it, but you are hoping that it is coming. It doesn't matter your years. Know that my time is now. I'll be a wedded wife. If nobody marry, I will marry. God is timeless God. The God that stepped out of eternity to yes, time. Sir. That God has no change. Oh. It doesn't matter my age. It doesn't matter. I will be a wedded woman. Yes, sir. I will marry. Yes, sir. I will have my babies. Don't look at yourself and make yourself useless. Yes, sir. Look at it. Read it. Read it for us. Joel, Joel chapter 2, verse 12. 
Therefore also, yes. now, mm -hmm. say the Lord, yes. send ye even to me with yes. all your heart, yes. and with fasting, mm -hmm. and with weeping, mm -hmm. and with mourning. No, go, start from Job 1. Job 1. Job 1. Job, Job 1. 1. Yes. yes sir. Job yes. 1, chapter 12. Verse 12. Yes. The vine is dried up. That's the one. See, that's the one. That's, that's the, the one. one. Yes. That's the one. The vine is dried up. Yes. And the fig tree languishes. Yes. The pomegranate tree. Yes. The palm tree also. Yes. And the apple tree. Yes. Even all the trees of the field. Yes. Are withered. Yes. Because joy is withered because away joy from is the sons of men. Away from the sons of men. Hmm. Any time you lack joy, mm. any time your hope is gone, mm. everything about you is gone. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Amen. A hopeless person is a depressed person. Hope is the anticipation of what is yet to come, but it is sure to come. Amen. It is yet to come, but it is sure, sure to, come. to come. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. It is yet to come, but it is sure, sure to, to come. come. You have not seen it, but you hope that it will come. Amen. You inject it with fasting. You inject it with prayers. You inject it with sacrifice. You know it will come to pass. It doesn't, therefore you can't, you can't tell me that it will. No, I've dreamt it. I've seen it. It will surely come, come to, to pass. pass. It will not die. Say, it will not die. It will not, it will not die. die. Let me read one more to you. Psalm 71 verse 14. Hallelujah. Hope is the light in the dark tunnel. Hope tells you that behind the darkness, there is light. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. Hope. You see the whole place. Ah. Ah. One day, I sleep in many, many hotels. So, today, my hotel room was here. I was in America and I traveled over six days within two weeks. I preached here three days. I preached here three days. And I preached here three days. And I preached six days. So today the hotel room is here. Tomorrow the hotel room is here. And the bathroom is here. So I wake up. And yesterday my bathroom was here. But today my bathroom was here. So when you are sleeping, your mind is disorientated. So I wake up, my mind tell me that it was here because I live here for four days, so I thought it was the same. So I didn't know that it was the door. The hotel room was there. there. It was. And you know, you are disorientated. You are, you are close your eye. You thought you are going to the toilet. And before I know, my head hit the door. Bam! Now, I put my iPod, you know, my little iPod, and there's a blue light because I don't sleep with light. I put all everywhere. So everywhere was dark. So the little blue light is small light. Before I know, I look, it's brought the whole light into the hotel room. And I saw that yesterday the door, toilet is here. Today the toilet is here. Oh, I become a light. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. There's tunnel. There's darkness in the tunnel. Everywhere is dark. But you see a stray of life coming. I, I never forget this quotation. In the book of Second Peter, chapter 1, verse 18. He said, we have a small show word of prophecy that you may do well. Can, can, can you look at it? Can you look at it? Second uh, Peter chapter 1. Yes. Look at verse 18. 18. Yes. Verse 18. Yes. And this voice, and which, this came from voice heaven, which came from heaven, we heard, we heard it when we were with when him we were with in him. the holy mount. That's Mount Tabo. We'll go there and pray. We have Amen. also a more sure we way of prophecy. A more sure way of prophecy. Where unto ye do Where well that ye do take well heed. to take heed. As unto a light. As unto a light. That shine in, that the shine place. in darkness place. Unto the day dawn. And the day star arise. It's a small light that started coming. It started coming. It started coming. It started coming. No tree grow one day. You plant it. It started coming. It started coming. Yes, it started coming. Yes, sir. By the time you know, it become a stem. Yes. By the time you know, it become branches. By the time you know, it become what? Fruitful. And by the time you know, people are eating it. Yes, sir. The moment you lose your hope, you lose everything. The moment you are hopeless, you are useless. Yes, sir. The moment you are hopeless, you are helpless. Yes, sir. Read where I ask you to read. Some somewhere. 
Do you have some there? Psalm 71, look at verse 14. And I finish. Hope is the power upon which faith is built upon. Hope yes, is sir. the power upon which faith, faith is, is built, built upon. Psalm 71, verse 14. Yes. But I will hope continually. But I will hope continually. And I will yet praise thee more and, and more. I will yet praise thee more and more. Hallelujah. Hear this. Write these things down. Write this seven things down. In the morning, I gave them seven things. In the morning, I gave to them that hope. If you read Titus chapter 1, verse 2. Can you read chap Titus chapter 1, verse 2? Hallelujah. Titus chapter 1, verse 2. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 2. Yes. In hope of eternal, hope life, of eternal life, which God that cannot lie mm -hmm. promised before the world Did began. Did you hear that? God, who can, hope is telling you that mm. God cannot lie. And no. this is his word. Mm. Everything his word said, I believe it. Mm. Hallelujah. Number one, right, the, 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 I can't go through what I gave to you this morning. But I'm giving you a new one. Um, um, so if you are not here in the morning, go and get the morning CD. Mm. Number one thing that helps hope mm. is for you to discipline in the word of God. Discipline. 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 The water, the scent of water is the word of God. The word of God said it. Lord, I believe it. God said it. I believe it. That settle it. You remember I teach you the music? Yes, sir. God said it. I believe it. That settle it. It doesn't matter what you do. It is settled. Hi. God has lifted his word above his name. See, if you are not disciplined to the word of God, Satan will tell you it cannot happen. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Discipline. When to wake up, how to wake up. When we were in university, you used to go to SU. See how they are disciplined. Now you become born again, you have become God anchor. <laughs> you go to church when you want to go to church. There's no discipline in your life because you are hopeless. Oh, I know how Apostle Joseph is going to preach. Every day, come out, come out, come out. I'm tired. Let me rest today. Then when you are resting, Satan is not resting. Discipline to the word of God. Number two, be diligent to prophetic actions. If we say fasting, fast. It because a hopeless person don't fast. Yes, sir. Oh, yesterday we fast. A day before yesterday we fast. Enough. Let me go Let me go and do it my puffer like how Pastor Fred did in that place. Be diligent to prophetic actions. People don't know that fasting and praying is a prophetic action. Yes, sir. Communion is a prophetic action. Taking the communion in the morning, we anoint ourselves. Wake up. Be diligent. Be diligent. Number one is what? Discipline, Discipline. to the word of God. Number two is what? Be diligent to prophetic action. Then number three, be determined. Be determined. Be determined. Be determined to do what you're supposed to do, like sacrifices, like your tithe and your offerings, like coming to church. But the day that appeared in Zion, they go from strength to strength. If your car lack petrol, and you're going to buy petrol, where do you go? You, do, you, you go where? You go to where? S say service center. Service center. Come on, come on. You, you <laughs> People, you are not confident. Say it very well. Say, say it. Service center. Now, when you are coming to church, what, what is the name? Church you are service. going to church, church service. service. Yes, sir. So, whatever you lack, you have, you have, you have, you have re overstrained yourself. You come to the service center and you fill up. We fail. We fail. We fail. That's why we come we Tuesday. We come what? Wednesday. Wednesday. You come what? Friday. How many eat once the whole week? How many people eat once the whole week? The whole eat week, you eat once. Are you listening to me? How do you want to eat the word of God? The Bible said the word is the bread of life. But people come Sunday, you won't see them until next Sunday. Their body is good, but their spirit is weak. Yes, sir. Do you, you understand what I'm saying? Can you read this quotation? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank, thank you, Jesus. Jesus.
Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the book of Psalm 84, Psalm 84, look at verse 7 and 8. Psalm 84, verse 7. Be diligent to things. What did I say, the third one? Uh, be determined to do what you are supposed to do. The, what did I say, the first one? Don't forget. Discipline it. in the Discipline word of God. Discipline to the word of God. Number three. Be diligent to prophetic action. Yes. Number four. Be determined to do what you are supposed to do. To do. Come to church. Many people eat early in the morning. By 11 o'clock, they eat again. By 2 o'clock, they eat again. By 5 o'clock, they eat again. Before they went and sleep, they eat and one more again before they sleep. Five times a day. Now, and you want to feed your spirit once a week. Satan will beat you. In Psalm 84, verse 7. They go they from go. strength to strength. Yes. Every one of them in Zion appeared before God. Keep going. Oh, Lord of hosts. Yes. Hear my prayer. Yes. Give ear, mm. O God of Jacob. Yes. Behold, O God, our shield, mm. and look upon the face of thy anointing. If you don't appear in Zion, the church house is the Zion. Yes. Then appear. Go from strength to strength. Hallelujah. Amen. Number one is discipline to the word of God. Number three. Number two is what? Diligent. Diligent. Number three is what? Be determined. Be determined. Then number four, you begin to sacrifice yourself to what you believe. Sacrifice yourself to what you believe. Sacrifice. Sacrifice. A man called me, sent me an email from Pakistan. <laughs> I tell the man, Sam George will come there. Elam, take my brown. Where is Elam? Elam, take take my brown. Oh, you are doing. Uh, Joseph, look at my brown iPad, the small iPad. Take it for me, please. Hallelujah. Oh, you think I'm lying. And I said to him that, in fact, I'm very busy. I can't come. He said, no, no, no. Apostle Jones, I know why you say you can't come. <laughs> Maybe you are afraid. I said, no, I'm not afraid. Uh, he said, it's a remote Pakistan. Pakistan, they beat people and they kill the people. And the man emailed me and was telling me that one of his pastors, they cut the pastor's leg. <laughs> and, and they burn the children in front. But they need deliverance. They promised me that they would take police guy to protect me and all those things. I say, hey. Eh? <laughs> Oh, I'm serious. Hey, Sam, come and see. Come and see. You think I'm lying. Come and see. Oh, come and see, Sam. Come and see. I email them back and I tell them that Sam is will be coming. Come and see. See? The ministry invitation from what? Karachi, Pakistan. To Apostle Jones Martin. Dear Deliverance Outreach Ministry Dome. He put address. Greeting in the mighty name of the Lord. Dear Apostle Dada Jones Martin, we are from a Bible mission outreach, Pakistan, and is glad to invite you to conduct uh, two days evangelical crusade and one day pastoral conference in Karachi, Pakistan. The crusade will be held in 13th and 14th September 2019 in a remote area of Karachi <laughs> where the gospel is not yet reached there. We are expecting 5,000 people on, on each day of the crusade. Our main focus is to keep the body of Christ. And uh, I, I, I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, you haven't finished. If you go to the second one that I read, that's why they were telling me that some people, they, they, they cut the pastor's leg and they bend the children in front of. You understand what I'm saying? So, if you are not disciplined and you don't sacrifice your life, you don't go to such a place. So, I'll make some to go there <laughs> and build the foundation for us. <laughs> 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 
Stand up, let's go. Let me leave you. Come and take it, please. Hallelujah. Hi, Pakistan. Stand up, let's go. Stand up, stand up, stand up. Hallelujah. I was going to give you seven, but it's, it's for your hope to be powerful. Number yes, four, sir. it means you must have faith in the name of Jesus. Amen. Number five, for your hope to be empowered, you must have faith in the power of the Holy Ghost. You must believe that Holy Ghost can do anything for you. Anything, yes, sir. Then number six, you must expect that the name of Jesus is more powerful than any name. Yes, sir. Then the last one, which is number seven, I want to give to you. That is very, very important. For your hope to be empowered, you must have confidence in yourself. Yes, sir. Then when you lack confidence, ah, are you listening to me? The moment, hey man, confidence dried. He was finished. He was hung. The moment Goliath, confident, died, he was killed. Because he hasn't seen anyone replying him like how David replied. Conf Bible said, David ran towards the giant. Confident. Hey! What's happening uh, these people know something I don't know. Yes, sir. How this young hey. boy is coming to me. Hey. Suddenly, he started referring the battle to his gods. Yes, sir. And David said, ah, you haven't seen nothing, nothing yet. yet. Today, I will cut off, off your, your head. head. Hi! Hey! Look at this boy. He don't have a knife. He want to cut my yes, head. Sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Before his name, his head is off. I pray for somebody. In the name of Jesus. Put your hand in your chest. Yes, I said, faith is faith. a spirit. Yes, sir. Love is a spirit. Yes, sir. Hope is a spirit. Yes, sir. Today, in the name, in of, the name Jesus, of Jesus, I command that spirit yes, to sir. enter into enter your system. Amen. Pray in tongues one minute. Pray in tongues one minute. Infuse it. Infuse it. Infuse it. Hey! Infuse it. There is hope. There is hope. There is hope. You will not die. Your children will not die. Your health will not die. Your life will not die. Your glory will not die. Come on, pray in tongues for a minute. Have faith in the Lord. There is hope for your business. Don't give up on your business. There is hope for your business. Don't give up. There is hope for your marriage. Don't give up. Put your hand on your womb. Let's pray for the new generation. Yes, sir. Satan has successfully caught a tree. Yeah. The tree is on the ground. Yes, sir. Do you know the tree is what carry? Are you listening to me? The tree is what carry the fruit. Mm. The tree is what carry the branches. The tree is what carry the flowers. Mm. So the tree is cut down. The root that allowed the tree to be cut off, the root is still on the soil. Mm. Yes, sir. The tree is cut off. Touch your hand. Touch your womb. Let's pray for the new generation. Yes, sir. Let's pray for the new The man that came here, they said the son died. He said, I saw my son and my daughter in the dream on the family altar. And the altar there is over 800 years. Mm. And a young boy of 16 years died. Today, the boy would have been about 20 years or 21 years now. Touch your womb. Yes, sir. It's about four years or five years now. Four five years. years. The boy would have been 20 years now. Five years. Five years now, yeah. Because he was in the same age like Jessica. Say, I speak. I speak to the new generation. To the new generation. Today, today, there's hope. There is hope for them. For them, all they need, all they need is the word of God. The word of God. As a parent, as a parent, I speak. I speak to the new generation. New generation. Where I stop, they will do greater. They will do greater. They will continue. In the name of Jesus, speak over your children. Speak over the womb. Speak over your brothers. Speak over your sisters. Speak. There's hope for your seed. 
There's hope for your seed. Hope. Whatever you couldn't do, let your children do it. Whatever your father couldn't do, let the children do it. Whatever your husband couldn't do it, let the children do it. Whatever your wife couldn't do it, let the children do it. I never buy up. There's hope. There's hope. Don't give up on hope. Hope is a spirit. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Hope is a spirit. Receive it. Your hope will not die. Your hope will not wither. Your hope will not wither. Hey, hey, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you. Amen. Lord, I bless you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I release freedom over you. Amen. By the spirit of hope, Jesus. by the spirit, your lost possessions Amen. is restored in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Your lost properties, yes, is restored in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. By the spirit of hope, spirit spirit of hope. hope. every spirit of death ah. is cancelled in Jesus' name. By the spirit of hope, yes, sir. you dwell in safety. Amen. You dwell in safety. Amen. The enemy that come to steal, kill, yes. and destroy, yes. they are defeated in Jesus' Amen. name. In Leviticus chapter 26, verse 6, the word of God said, And I will give peace, peace. in the land, ah, and you shall lie. Yes. And none shall make you, shall afraid. Make you afraid. And I will read evil beasts yes. from your land. Yes, sir. Neither shall the sword mm. go through your land anymore. Amen. From today, any sword, any sword that always go through your ah. body, like surgery, yes, sir. today it is cancelled. Don't you know your body is the land? Ah. No surgery again no in your body. Surgery. No cutting and no cutting, cutting in your body. When you pregnant, Jesus. you will deliver normal. Amen. Your children will deliver normal. Amen. Your health will be normal. Amen. No organ in your no body organ. will be afflicted, Amen. will be affected. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. may God bless you. Amen. May God bless you. Amen. May God bless you. Amen. Somebody shout, I will never, I will never give, up give up in hope. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Somebody shout, I will never, I will never give, up in hope. give up in hope. Tell somebody, don't give up. Don't give up. On hope. on hope. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Stretch your hand on me. I pray. In the name of Jesus. There will be divine sufficient. Amen. In your life. Amen. God will demonstrate his abundant provision. Yes, Jesus. Lord. In your life. Amen. You will learn to many nations. Yes. And never borrow. Amen. Your work will be successful. Amen. Your job will be successful. Amen. Bible said, Bible said, I, I, I love this quotation. I read it this morning. Can you read it quickly before we go? Proverbs chapter 13. Proverbs chapter 13, verse 12. He said, Hope defer, make the heart sick. Did you hear it? Hope defer, mm -hmm. make the heart sick. Yes. But when the desire cometh, mm -hmm. it's a tree of life. Ah, did you hear it? Yes, sir. Anybody sitting here, Jesus, that you have gone through one disappointment. Ah. Oh, one, another disappointment yes, Jesus. that has withered your hope. Withered your hope. It is canceling Jesus. Amen. I restore your hope. I restore, I restore your faith. Restore. I restore your love. Restore. I restore it. Restore. Abigail, could you put a message Bible there? Look at how the message Bible says. Hope defer. Ah, look at it. Hope defer. Make the heart sick. Go to the message Bible. Look at how the now, Unrelenting disappointment leaves you heart sick. Ah. But a sudden good break can turn life around. Yes. Did you hear that? Eh? Until he's here, a, young, uh, a young lady was going to marry. One month to the wedding, the husband died. <laughs> Is it me? Maybe say my husband. After two years, he find another man again. Two weeks to the wedding, the man died. <laughs> Hope the fair made the heart sick. When she was 38 years, she find another man again. 
because of the two conditions, she tell the man, let's pray. The man said, me, my heart is strong. In Ghana, they say, my heart is strong. Let's fire. That devil is like, they pray. Two days to the wedding, the same dream appeared. The man was giving her warning in the dream. Two days, the man also died. Three men, you haven't finished. This woman was pretty. She met another pastor who also saw her. They want to marry. They fire. 40 days dry fasting. Holy water. Subdue the man. The day they were going to do the, the wedding, Saturday, the spirit appeared and gave her warning. The man dressed, put a three-piece suit and going to enter the car. A motorbike came from nowhere. Where the guy was passing, hit the guy. The head hit on the pavement. Died that day. Four times. When I met the woman in Maranatha prayer conference, the, the woman was like a dead woman. He said, Daddy, I call you on here. I was doing uh, uh, our radio with Pastor Tony. The woman, I met her. Hope the, the woman looked like a dead person. Four times. Now she's about 42 years. I was encouraged. I prayed for you. She said, no, me. Hope the fair make the heart sick. Mm. I, I want to lay your hands on your head. You are praying. You know? That's sick. One other thing that kill a person. Eh? Sister, put a new, new, new living translation there. New living translation. Or uh, there's, a, NIV. there's one called American Standard. Look at NIV. Hope defer make the heart sick, but a longing fulfilled is a tree of life. Look at American version or American standard. Look at another translation. Hallelujah. I like the American version. Look at it. Look at it. Hope defer make the heart sick, but when the desire is fulfilled, it's a tree, of, tree life. of life. There's another one called American standard. American S. Uh, American standard. Uh, not this one. Oh, give me another another translation. Uh, Kofi, help her. She yeah. don't know American standard. Aha, uh -huh, uh -huh. look at this one. Look at this one. Hope deferred. Uh -huh. Make it the heart sick. Yes. But when the desire comes, uh -huh. it is a tree of life. Put your hands on it. Uh, until you see, one thing I hate is disappointment. Are you listening to me? Let me tell you something. When you see Pastor Fred, you didn't like him. You never we may never see a man and tell the man that I want to marry you. No. It's the man that comes to the woman. The first time the man tell you that I love you, the woman even run away. Stop that nonsense. Mm. Don't say that. But when the man continue pursue, yeah. pursue, pursue, the woman give in. Yes, sir. Because women love grow. A man do inini. Yeah. But when he grow to a point and disappointment comes in, mm. it hurt them. That's why I say hope the fair make the heart sick. sick. Hope the fair. Ah, a woman pregnant to Naman's baby died in the womb ah, six times. Hey, that's the one I'm looking for. When yes. hope is crushed, when hope is crushed, the heart is, the crushed. Heart is crushed. But a wish but come a true wish fills come you true with joy. Is feel what? Joy. joy. Let's put your hand on your head. Say no disappointment no anymore. No disappointment anymore. anymore. Come on, shout, shout. Say no disappointment. No disappointment. No more. No more. Business disappointment, no more. Marital disappointment, no more. financial disappointment, no more. death disappointment. No more. Any area yes, of your life yes, you are going through hey. disappointment, no I end it now. No. Shall no more. No. As you lay your hands on your head, yes, sir. I say it, do it like you. Open your eye, open your eye, and then let your hands. Do it like this. Say, I remove. I remove marital disappointment. Marital disappointment. I remove. I remove financial disappointment. Financial disappointment. I remove. I remove disappointment, disappointment over my children. Over my children. I remove it. I remove it. I remove. I remove business disappointment. Business disappointment. I remove, I remove it. it. I pray it is removed. Amen. Amen. When you meet a woman, bless the woman, like the woman. By the time you know disappointment. Mm. Somebody marry you. Use your knowledge and your strength to help the man. After 20 years in marriage, the man left and disappoint you. Go to mental home. Many people are depressed because of marital disappointment. I pray that it is over in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. 
you give somebody business idea, ah. the person become great. Yes, sir. And disappoint you. There are certain people they are here, they don't even know their father. They don't. Because of disappointment. Mysteriously, father died. Mm. Mysteriously, mother died. Jesus. And they live with people that they are they don't know their beginning. And 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 and, and they they curse those children. Ah, if my father was there, what would have my father? Are you listening to me? How myself and my children, the relationship we have. Are you listening to me? Ah, you can't take gifty from my hand. You can't. She's not this girl. Yes, ma'am. Are you listening to me? I was in Takrade. I was there. She came with her husband. They want to come and sleep in my room. I said, ah, ah, you have married. He said, no, no, you have one room there, so we want to sleep over there. They have their, they came, I was eating. She was eating some. The husband was eating some. I saw the husband, the thing that, and Kofi, the thing that you bought for me. And I, I, I have one, I bought the new one at airport. It was $300. I saw the, the boy holding it. Daddy, my husband like it. I said, take it. <laughs> and I said, take it. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. That's a father's relationship. Yes, yes sir. sir. Now imagine I was not there mm. or I died mm. and another person take over their life. Mm. What would have happened to these young girls? Hope defer make the heart sink. Ah. I pray in the name in of the Jesus. Jesus. Ah, that thing bringing disappointment. Jesus. That power called disappointment Jesus. is end forever. Amen. Jesus mighty name. It ends forever. Amen. You will not lose your wife. No. You will not lose your husband. No. You will not look after a woman no. and somebody take the woman ah. from your hands. No. It is broken. Okay. You will never look after your wife yes, and somebody take that wife from ah. you. It is broken. broken. See how Pastor Fred, when he married Lady Fisker, hey. Lady Fisker was tia, 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 yes, like the latest girl. Yes, sir. Now, if you look at Jifa, and you look at your younger sister. There's no big woman like you. No. And you look at that little girl. This is all from Pastor Fred. This is Pastor Fred. Has worked so hard. Do it. Has fed this I woman. And before I you know, it. somebody come and take ah, her away. No way. Say no way. No way. Say no way. No way. We will pray in oh, tongues. Ayaka, we will Masakata. injure the person. We will, kill them. We will fire the fire person. Them. We will make the person impotent. impotent in the name of Jesus. Amen. We will pray yes, for the hammer of God Ayaka. to break the guy. We will fire Ayaka. the person. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We will castrate the yes, man. Sir. <laughs> no, not here. Thank you. And you see Lady Fisker every night. Every do you know every morning we finish the morning devotion. He gave one to a pastor friend. Every morning he gave one. one. Every morning he gave one. one. And now you see Pastor Fred who, who now he has become a public figure. So he will go and tell Lady Fisker that I've seen a night girl, a yeah, young girl. So girl. I'm leaving you to go. For we where? pray in the name, in of, the name Jesus. of Jesus. Yes, sir. Apart from Lady Fisker. Hey, uh, May the man become impotent Quick. on any other woman uh-huh. in, the name of Jesus. in the name of Jesus. Any woman that any will come there, they, they, they are fired. Odana, Odana, you Are you I'm telling you, I'm so determined. Yes, sir. Not, not all the passes they are covered. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, because sir. I'm writing all their names to put on the wailing wall. Yeah. Yes, Any demon that will come Any against demon. them. And this time, you will see those people that are going with you. Uh-huh. you see, the first thing I'm going to do yes, there. Sir. I've already started it here. Uh-huh. From the whole last week, I don't. You remember that you are asking me, you don't, do you want to eat? No, no, no. I eat the fruit and I go. Yes, sir. I eat the fruit and I go. Yes, sir. I eat the fruit. I'm yes, preparing sir. my body for that fasting. Uh-huh. I'm not eating, no. No. There are certain vengeance prayer I'm praying. Uh-huh. That whoever will come who against my pastors, whoever. their wives, whoever. their children, whoever. may fire and sunday. May fire and sunday. Every daughter, every son of this ministry, whoever will venture, may fire and sunday. May fire and sunday. Fire answer, fire answer, fire answer, fire. Are you listening to me? Uh, you come with me, let's go to Israel. You see the fire will go to fire. Yes, so. God bless you. Hallelujah. Take your offering or your time. Let's go home. Hallelujah. Alibaba. If
If you have your time, bring it quickly. Let me pray on it. If you have your time, bring it to the altar. Let me pray on it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are well. Have you have you put it? Go and put it. I pray. I pray over it. I pray over your tight. I pray over your tight. I pray over your tight. From henceforth, you will not see evil in the name of Jesus. Your tight. Your tight. I repeat the defora for your sake. Amen. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, I think grace also is not there. Uh, uh, mass, come home. By the time I finish the announcement, give me the communion. I want to dedicate it. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll call you. They're going to prepare it. Hallelujah. God bless you. Hallelujah. We bless our offering. Please, if you have your offering, put it in the basket here. Basket there. Let's go quickly. Hallelujah. If you have the offering, put it here. I declare it is blessed. I declare it is empowered. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. If you have not been baptized, please see Pastor Bola. Today I saw her doing the teaching. It's good. How many names have you got? Eight. Wonderful. Please, we are going to do the baptism on the 15th, isn't it? That's Saturday, 2 o'clock. 2 p.m., please, or 3. So that from there we come here for the conference. That Saturday I will do the conference. Okay. Okay. No, I'm just asking. So, okay, please. Uh, she has got the hall, uh, the, the swimming pool, isn't it? So we're going to do baptism. May God bless you. So, see, baptism, if, if you, a Roman Catholic church baptizes you, if Anglican pastor baptizes you, go and write your name. If the person baptizes you, you don't trust the person. Go and write your name. We don't just put people's head and remove it. No. Read the Bible very well. Go, go there, let me show you. If you are baptized by a Roman Catholic priest, you don't spread water on the child and say, we don't baptize children. We bless children. We dedicate children. Read it. Read there, please. Yes, sir. Matthew chapter 3. Look at verse 10. Matthew 3, verse 10. Yes. And now also mm -hmm. the axe is laid mm -hmm. unto the root of the trees. Yes. Therefore, every tree which bringeth not forth good fruit yes. is hewn down mm -hmm. and cast into the fire. Yes. I indeed baptize you mm -hmm. with water unto mm -hmm. repentance. Mm -hmm. But he that cometh after me mm -hmm. is mightier than I, mm -hmm. whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. Yes. He shall baptize you mm -hmm. with the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. and with fire, whose pan is in his hand, and he will. Come and he will truly purge his floor, yes. his floor and gather his wheat mm. into the garner. Keep going. But he will burn up the chaff mm. with unquenchable fire. Keep going. Then cometh Jesus then from Galilee Jesus to Jordan, from Galilee or to John, to Jordan. Yes. to be baptized of him. Yes. But John forbade him, yes. saying, I have need to be baptized of thee. Yes. And comest thou to me? Mm -hmm. And he, Jesus answering said unto him, mm -hmm. Suffer it to be so now, mm -hmm. for thus it becometh us to fulfill all righteousness. Keep going. Then he suffered him, mm -hmm. and Jesus, mm -hmm. when he had he was baptized, mm -hmm. went up straightway mm -hmm. out of the water, mm -hmm. and lo, the mm -hmm. heavens were open mm -hmm. unto him, mm -hmm. and he saw the spirit of God mm -hmm. descending like a dove. Did you hear that? And lighting. Any time a person baptized is another serious event. Yes, sir. The heavens must be open. It's a powerful deliverance. We don't have time to teach. One day I'm going to teach about baptism. Baptism is you are. Bible says we all died with Christ through yes, baptism, yes, and we came out. Bible said First Corinthians, chapter ten, verse two. All of them were baptized yes. through the water mm. unto Moses. Mm. So who baptized you? Yes, sir. They were not baptized mm. unto God. And is it not, is it there? Yes, and were all baptized mm. unto Moses in the that? cloud did and in the sea. Did you see God name there? They were baptized unto a man. Yes, sir. So if the man that baptized you is not correct, your destiny is not correct. Yes, sir. A Roman Catholic pastor who is, who is a gay, sprinkling water on you. <laughs> no wonder you see your son just want to be gay. Yes, sir. 
Be very careful. Please, if you don't trust the past, we, you see, God said, Jesus Christ being baptized and praying, Holy Ghost open. Not baptized. If you need water, you have water in your house. Clean water. You baptize with understanding that is yes, a sir. deliverance. Yes, sir. When I was baptized, the man explained it to us. We stand on the river for one hour, between 45 minutes to one hour, and we're renouncing. I, he said, mention your name. Kojo Boati, in the name you were born. Kojo Boati means Monday. Kojo means Monday. My Boati is my original name that I was named after. Yes, sir. I stand in front of this water in the name of Jesus. Any case from my father's background, from my mother's background, as I enter the water, I bury it. I come out as a new person. You renounce it for continuing one hour. Yes, sir. So you have memory that you are going down to the water with the case, mm. and you are coming out with empty. Papa Mwako say, imagine you are holding your case. Jesus buried our case and came out a new life. Mm. Yes, sir. When Jesus came out, no dog could stop him. Yes, sir. But you, when he was going, he was going. He needed doors. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Amen. May God bless you. Amen. Amen. Hi. That's my little girl. That's my lady. You can come, let me see your beauty. Ah. Isn't she beautiful? Very. But they trust they tell in a sense of co kakra. That if they be a say a say a tete. Come, 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 let the video see your face. A coffee ya fatunusu. Yeah, fatunus rehom, Mr. Ah, that's my little girl. Hey, that's 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 the 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 little one. Hey. That's the little baby. That's the little baby. When she was born, I was not there, so I didn't de do her like Gifty. I was doing Gifty like a toy. And one day, I hold her hand. Gifty was about 15 months to two years. And she was petri, 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 two years. So when Mikey wear clothes, Gifty was also, also went to want the same clothes. So we, we, we buy her the same men clothes. And then I hold her, and I was like a kuyaba, like a doll. And I was whining her, whining her. And when I was doing her head like that, the shoulder dislocated. And she screamed, hi! So I pull it quickly. And there's a, there's a, a clinic in Santasi, private clinic. So we take a taxi over there, and they give her pain tablets injection. The man said, you did very well. You the dislocated hand, you put it very well, it's fine. So they, <laughs> they put her on the POP. <laughs> uh. And today, look at them. They are now old. And all of them have their customers. Thank you for tuning in to the Hour of Deliverance broadcast with Dr. Jones Dottabuatang. We hope you have been blessed. Do join us at Deliverance Outreach Ministries every Wednesday, Friday from 5.30 p.m. and Sundays from 10.30 a.m. for a time of ministration, teaching, counseling, prayer, and deliverance. Be there and experience divine visitation, total healing through the power of prayer and the spoken word. Your life will never be the same again. Thank you for tuning in.